Hey teachers, how are you today? This is Jenna from Musings from the Middle School and I am here with a really quick and easy video tutorial to show you how you can create writing prompts for your students that are engaging and fun and exciting using pictures that you can find just on the internet and you can create this activity and then share it with them either digitally or you could print it out and they could do it, you know, standard paper pencil style. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head on over to my TPT store and you want to download this freebie. So the file that you're going to be downloading is a PowerPoint and it's going to open in PowerPoint and it will look like this. Once you download the resource, you're going to want to save it. Um, that way it'll allow you to easily access it again without having to re-download it. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is you want to find a really cool picture to use. The internet is full of so many amazing photos that make the best inspiration for writing. I, however, do not own the rights to any of those pictures, and so I can't actually include pictures in this resource. And there's no sense in me doing that, honestly, because there's just so many cool pictures that you really don't want to be limited to a, you know, a selection that I you know, curated for you. So hopefully you have some really cool pictures that you saved over, you know, the years. But if you don't, you can head to my Pinterest board and you can find some really great inspiration. So over on my Pinterest board, um, over on my Pinterest page, I have a board called Writer's Notebook and Writing Prompts, which is full of just really cool ideas to inspire some writing. So I'm going to select this picture here because this is just a really cool one. Um, and I know my students will love this because they love sharks. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to click copy image and I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint presentation. So what you want to do is you want to consider whether the picture is going to fit better vertically or horizontally. All right. That'll let you know which template you want to use. And then you're going to need to paste it and then crop it and resize it so that it fits. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it. I just click and drag to fit the phone and then I'm going to crop it so that it's in and I want to just slide it over a little bit because I want more of that shark there. There we go. And then I'm just going to slide it over just to make it fit. Okay. Once your slide is complete, you're going to be saving it as a JPEG and then uploading it to Google Slides. This means that anything you put on the slide in PowerPoint will not be editable in Google Slides. So usually I like to include directions on this page too, so that the students can't change them or accidentally delete them. So I'm just going to click insert. I'm going to click a text box. I'm going to draw my text box. And I can change the font, the color, but I'm going to say, um, tell this story in five sentences. You can make it say whatever it is that you want. You can change the size, you can change the color, you can change the font, whatever it is you need to do. So once your directions are there, you have your slide complete. Now you want to save this as a JPEG. So I'm going to come up to file. I'm going to go to save as you want to find a place to save it. All right. And I am going to save it. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go down to JPEG and I'm just going to put um, shark slide. I just want this one slide here. That's it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Google account. All right. I've got a, um, a, Google slide already opened up here. I renamed it writing prompt. And what I want to do, I'm going to get rid of these text boxes because I don't want those there. I'm going to come here and I'm going to click background and I'm going to click choose image. And then I want to find the image that I just created. So I'm going to go to browse. I'm going to come here. I want the one that's called shark slide and I'm going to click open. And now what I have is an assignment I can share with my students. I usually, because if I don't do this, my kids will be like, how do I add a text box again? I like to insert the text box. So you just click up here on the T and then all you need to do is draw a text box right over and just say, um, type here. 
And now you have a, basically a digital worksheet that you can share with your students. You just want to remember that when you go to assign this in Google Classroom, you are going to want to click add. If you go to Google Drive here, let me just find it real quick. Writing prompt. I'm going to click add. I want to make sure that I come over here and click make a copy for each student. That means it'll give one of these worksheets to each student. All right. Now you have an assignment for your kids to complete. There you go. All right. I hope this is. All right. I hope that was um, helpful to you. If you are, you know, you might be a little bit more advanced than this and that's perfectly fine. But I know that for a lot of people, especially when we were doing our distance learning, you know, sort of creating these sorts of things on Google, you know, that you can deliver via Google or on a digital platform was tricky for some of you. So I'm hoping that by showing you how to do this, your wheels are turning and you can think of other ways how you can create a JPEG in PowerPoint and then upload it into a Google slide and create an interactive notebook for your students. All right. Um, I hope that was helpful, like I said, and I will be back again when I've got something else to share. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.